I got to meet a new subscriber, uh, not new subscriber to the channel, but new subscriber in real life today. He works local and came by, he wanted to say hi and he wanted to order some parts from me. We had a excellent conversation and kind of a little bit of bonding going on, just talking about life and stuff in general and uh, really appreciated it, being able to talk to them face to face and uh, make that connection. Uh, I thought it was really awesome. I enjoyed the, the conversation and I felt like uh, kind of a little energized after it because I was able to make that connection with somebody that, that actually follows me online and uh, doesn't try to troll me just because they're jealous or whatever he will say. It was nice. And um, we talked about just life, you know, just in general, just all the awesome things and not so much the negative things. And it was really refreshing to have an adult conversation with somebody um, that didn't have nothing negative in it. And then there was a lady that came today. She said, I don't, I don't know if you, if you don't mind, I'd, I'd like to follow you on here because I feel like the conversations, she's another customer. She's been coming to the shop for years, but um, now it's under new ownership. And she was like, so you guys are the new owners? I said, yeah, we are. And she said, uh, as long as you guys take care of me, I'll be a loyal customer to you guys like you wouldn't believe and I said oh yeah absolutely we're gonna we'll take care of you um, oh, that's we like taking care of our customers and not taking advantage of them and making a good honest living um, you know unfortunately but fortunately the old owners are gone and we're here and it's nice to meet you and we had a conversation we talked about life as well and uh, she said you know this is I appreciate you she said this is what I needed to hear I was going it's kind of having a rough start to my morning and stuff like that and I feel like you just really made my day and I appreciate you talking to me and, and, and witnessing to me and just having a great conversation and we probably talked for a good half hour while she was in the waiting room you know what do they call it the general managers uh, shaking hands and kissing babies is what they called it with the, when the governor or the mayor was doing it general manager same thing you got to go out you got to greet your customers you got to talk to them you got to make them feel welcome you and you got to mean it you know you, you don't just you don't just do it you got to mean it you got to you mean and back up what you're about and uh, had a really good day today had a really excellent day today uh, getting to meet with the customers talk with them got a, got a few jobs closed out got some parts in that I've been waiting for uh, got a 2020 Ford Fusion back. I actually had to use the dealership on this one. Um, I could not figure this one out on my own. And I knew that I I didn't bite off more than I can chew. I just didn't kind of know what I was getting myself into because I didn't have all the schematics and stuff that the dealer has. And then you got to reference part numbers and stuff like that. But this car had been in an accident. Uh, 2020 Ford Fusion uh, hybrid. It had been in an accident. And the body shop did the work. They put the wrong doors on the car. They put the doors on the car from a from a 2016 Ford Fusion or something like that, or it was a, a regular Ford Fusion that did not have the same driver door modules as a hybrid system does. And the communication lines for the HVAC system run through the modules in the doors, and then they return back. So that circuit has to be complete. There has to be a complete path for communication there. So when they it got in the accident and it got t-boned in between the front and rear door the passenger front and the and the passenger rear door it had pushed in the b pillar or something too and what they did was they found doors that were for a non-hybrid vehicle and the communication lines run through those doors back to the front screen and stuff like that so the hvac system would not come online properly so I, I mean, I figured out a lot of the stuff, got the radio back on, got some of the functions back working, pulled the dash on it, um, replaced the harness and stuff behind the dash because the dash, the connectors on the end were messed up. And I told them just flat out from the beginning, I'm pulling the dash on this car. I'm not gonna reach back in here and undo the glove box and pull the airbag system and everything out of it to just pull the harness out of it to give myself enough room to work in here. I'm gonna put a whole harness in it. I'm not gonna chop this mickey mouse this harness up and they said okay that's fine just do what you have to do we, we trust you 
and I put a harness in the dash and got the radio and stuff all up and programmed and that all that stuff was working but there were still some functions that were not working like if the screen was grayed out for the HVAC controls the front control interface module couldn't uh, respond correctly and my service advisor at Ford that I work with all the time is a real good guy his name is Hugo and uh, one of their guys were going through it kind of looking at everything and they're like well, let's start comparing part numbers on the harness like engineering numbers part numbers and stuff on harness that are in these doors and see where we go from there and then they started digging into the doors to, to figure out where to go and they're like wait a second the part numbers for these harnesses are not the part numbers for this 2024 fusion and I you know I gave them all the information on the accident and stuff like that and they were like yeah what ended up happening is they went to an older model Ford Fusion and use those same doors that were not compatible with this body package and that's why the communication to the front control interface module and stuff is not working properly because it all goes through those modules and then returns back and basically it doesn't have a path back and then the harnesses in the door as well have to be changed because those harnesses have to clip into the factory harness that you already changed and they got to go into that and then they have to go into those modules in the door so you're looking at probably sixteen hundred dollars worth of work and labor and everything else or eight hundred dollars for all the diag and stuff in the harnesses and i was like uh okay uh let me call the customer and see what the customer wants to do to move forward because they have all the computers to verify everything i don't have all the computers for that stuff and the customer said do it i'll pay you your guys' time for doing the dash and go you go ahead and pay the dealer for me on their part and I'll pay um, for the dealer putting the harnesses and the, the two modules and the programming in the doors. Um, as long as my stuff is working, that's all I care about. He ended up getting like a, it's a 2020 Ford Fusion Hybrid for like seven or $8,000. And then put another like $4,000 into the body repairs and stuff like that. And the vehicle's worth about 20 right now, 22. So he's he's still out ahead. And he said as long as he can stay ahead, that's all he's worried about. And um, I went to go pick that up today. Look, I'm glad that that stress is off. I don't have to worry about that crap no more. That was stressful enough as it is, just trying to get that vehicle done. You know, you ever have those jobs that are just lingering? You're like, man, I'd like to get this damn thing out of here. But that was like, that was a positive thing for me. I turned something that was like negative into something positive. And then uh, called the customer on the 1983 380 SL Mercedes. Cause he, he hadn't been answering my phone calls in like a week and a half. And he was like, oh, something's wrong with my phone, my voicemail. I'll be there Monday, Tuesday to pick up my car. Thanks for getting it up and going for me. And um, basically it was an obsolete fuel line that goes between the accumulator, the filter, and the pump the fuel pump on the 380 SL 83 Mercedes. So I custom made my own with banjo fittings, uh, 4AN connections, high pressure line, and yeah, I made my own fuel line to connect all three of them and then tied it into the system, put two new fuel lines underneath the vehicle uh, because they were rotten, spewing fuel everywhere, and starts right up now had to free up all the throttle linkage points and stuff because they were all bound up so he's coming to pick his up yeah so uh you know that's where we're at right now that was my update for the day i think positive turn turn negative things into positive or just focus on the positive stuff it ain't worth focusing on the negative stuff because all it's going to do is bring it down you can you can focus on the negative stuff by changing how you react to it so today, whenever negative things happen, I just tried to respond in a positive way so I didn't work myself up over silly things that mean nothing. And uh, even my, my buddy, my best friend, my co-owner, he was like, what are you, you okay? Yeah, man, I'm trying to change the way I respond to things, the way I handle myself. I'm trying to be more professional. He was like, yeah, this is it's a little weird. I like it. It's a little weird. And I said, yeah, you've been a negative Nancy since you got here this morning. Picking at everything and telling everybody they're not doing this and that fast enough and everything else. I said, man, you, you knock it off. That negative energy is going to start rubbing off on people. Start looking at the gain and not the gap. And he 
said the gain and not the gap. And I said, let me explain. If you don't know what I mean, go back to this morning's video and you'll understand what the gain versus the gap is. The gap versus the gain. And he was like, oh wow, it's pretty dang good. Focus on the, th on the things in your life that, that make you happy. Focus on the things in your life that, that you should be focusing on, like how far you've come versus where you were at. And start measuring yourself against yourself and not somebody else. Stop living in the gap of this void of things that you're trying to achieve and you're measuring yourself against other people. You're just never going to be happy. Start focusing on the gain, the things in your life that you can be appreciative of, that you can do things about, that you can make better. Your relationships, your family, your job, how you treat employees, how you treat other people. And that gain will take care of the gap. You won't have to worry about the gap. And he was like, okay. It's just, it's, just, it's just nice. I mean, different. We're not used to this you. And I said, well, it's just a different mindset change. And this is how I'm going to try to be from now on. And he was like, okay, all right. Just a little shocked by it. Anyhow, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great night. I am almost home. I'm going to stop at Home Depot. Look what I got. Yep, I picked that up for the chainsaw comparison. It is a Husqvarna 440. And it was damaged, refurbished or something like that on eBay. It said something about the a bearing was bad from brand new and it was barely used. And it got fixed. Somebody fixed it, put it up. It's like a $500 saw, $600 saw or something like that. I think, somewhere around there. And it was on eBay for... I think it was $258 is what it was. I paid $258 for it, and it's practically brand new, and it's been fixed. There was a bearing around the, the brake assembly or the clutch, I don't know, clutch assembly or something like that that messed up. It's fixed. It runs absolute phenomenal. So I got to stop and get a chain for it. I guess the Husqvarnas have a different type of chain than other chainsaws do, but we'll see. Because um, I know my standard chain wouldn't fit that. But I'm going to see if I can find one here at Home Depot. Yes, they got it. We'll see. I'll catch y'all later. Be blessed.